okay then so tonight you join me at the Holiday Inn in Colchester and I'm staying here tonight because I'm bloody knackered <laughs> I've been at work 14 hours and this was just something I just needed to stay anywhere close by this was it so let's go and have a look around anyway so this is it right so I'll go and check in and I'll join you in the room So I'm in room 127, let's have a look. So I've always ended up in the room that's miles away. I'm gonna have to walk all the way down there, oh well. Right, so this is what you get for 72 pound. So I'm here midweek during half term, which usually means it's cheaper. Let's see what we get. So we've got a king size room. Now, if you're thinking it's a bit dark in here, now, if you're thinking it's a bit dark in here, well, you're right. <laughs> there's no big light for some reason, I don't know why. Why is there no big light? Well, only these ones. So, when I came in, none of that light's wrong, so you, you got to faff around and trying to mess about with it. But, I still can't get this light working, so I think that's a bit knackered, isn't it? And then, same again with this one over here. Like, wouldn't you think they'd fix it? <laughs> yeah, they, don't, they just don't know, do they? So we've got a bit of a desk area, that's all right, isn't it? Now there is free Wi-Fi here, so I can use my laptop. And then we've got a big telly. Now, that telly, you can tell it's one of the old ones, because it's dead thick. So I reckon that's a good 10 year old. But if it works, it works, doesn't it? So, not a bad room, quite a nice laid out room. And you can tell it's been here for a while, but I mean, it's all right, this, a little chair there. A bit dark though. I mean, let's try this bed out and see what it's like. Oh, actually, really nice, really soft. So I booked this today, direct. So I booked this with IHG on the app and it was two pound cheaper. So happy days. We've even got a wardrobe with some unstealable hangers and an iron and ironing board. She can't really see cause it's that dark. So we've got quite a nice wide walkway. So if you're disabled, you're not gonna have any issues there. So that's nice and wide and then I reckon this work you trays and press USB. Well, let's have a look. Is the kettle clean tonight? Let's have a look. Wow, yes it is. That dark in here, you can't see. But yeah, it is. So happy days. And then inside this we've got biscuits. Junk. I'll be having them. And then onto quite a big bathroom for a holiday in anyway. Standard old bathroom, but no wrong with this. Actually, I take it back, it's not old, it's quite modern. That's alright, let's hope there's any, sh any pressure on that shower. Let's have a look here. Well, for some reason though, why is that like that? Put that back there. Oh, I think it's knackered. Well, my eyes have got lots of pressure there, happy days. So, I tell you what I like, but the controls are here. You can actually turn it on before you get wet. And you've got this complimentary soap. It smells bloody awful, this. Who puts people in charge of like having parsley soap in your bathroom? Ugh. I tell you what, the people who make these decisions about having crap like that in bathroom, have they actually ever stayed in an hotel? I don't want to wake up smelling a bloody parsley. I don't know about you. So, if you stay here, there's actually a free pool. So unlike other hotels like Britannia's, you don't actually have to pay extra for this. It's all included as is the Wi-Fi, and unlike other chains like Premier Inn, it's actually fast and there's no upsell. It just works. So I don't mind these holiday inns. They're all a bit old and run down, but for the price, I don't think it's that bad. Um, I've just had food in the restaurant and it's cost me nearly 40 quid. And to be honest, it, it's not a restaurant. They say it is. But it's so much more like a cafe. It's basically if you're paying restaurant prices in a cafe and it gets worse because they don't even have waiters anymore. They just give you a digital tablet and you've got to order your own food. How crap's that? Not only that, because there's no staff, it takes forever. So I'm not a fan of that. The staff that I did see were quite nice though. We had a starter, a main and a dessert and this is what I got. They were okay, but nothing special at all. 
So when I checked in, everyone was nice on the desk and all friendly and professional, like you would expect. But yeah, don't, not a fan of the tablets. And ultimately, you know, they're going to get rid of more staff, aren't they? That's what it's about. It's not about speed. It's about cutting costs. But you get to a point where they cut that many costs. It's just not attractive, is it, anymore to do that sort of thing. But the restaurant experience, definitely a cafe, not a restaurant. Oh well. Another thing to be mindful of is they add a service charge of 10%. So although it's not compulsory, it's added to your bill and the only way you can remove it from this tablet is by calling someone over and asking them to remove it. Now they're preying on you here, so they know that most people are not going to have the balls to say, can you remove that for me? Because you'd be considered cheap or whatever. Well, let me tell you, this tight wigginer has asked them to take that off. There's no way I'm paying 10% on top of already inflated prices. Not a chance. Right, so I've been at room for half an hour. Let's go and have a quick look round. And then I'm going to call it a night. I am absolutely knackered. So these corridors are so, so long. I'll speed this bit up. Well, this is what phone juice be. There's mirrors now. <laughs> Bit of a lounge area. And this is the restaurant area. So I'm actually going to go and go in the pool. I've got my swimming stuff. And yeah, I thought, you know what? Even if it's just a quick dip, I might feel a bit less tired. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be able to film it. No. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, let's see what it's like after. Yes, this is it. Wow, what a difference. I've only been in there. 15 minutes and I feel so much better. So I felt absolutely knackered before and now I feel awake. So that's a winner in my opinion. Actually, jacuzzi, sauna, steam room, separate uh, saunas as well and a pool. Or oh, a gym too, but yeah, look at me. I've not been there for a while. <laughs> oh well. Gotta walk all the way down there now, way. So after that pool, I feel great. So I'm going to chill out and call it a night. I'll see you in the morning. Right, so next day, uh, you know what? I slept really well. This bed's well comfy. I didn't hear no noise. And yeah, I was out like a light. So that's a winner, isn't it? So I just had a shower. The shower was great, but I smell like Jamie Oliver's bloody herb garden. Bloody kale and parsley wash. What the bloody hell is that all about? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you think it'd be like some nice smelling stuff? Yeah, kale. Oh. Clearly, someone in an office has made that soap. Yeah, that's what we'll sell them. That's what everyone wants. <laughs> this is the breakfast, and while there's loads of selection, the quality really is crap. Uh, really low quality food, half of that stuff there was tinned uh, and the hot food, the sausages were pretty much inedible and the bacon was uh, one of the cheapest you can get just really really low quality so it's definitely not worth the money even though it looks like you get a lot You know what though, I'd stay here again, nice hotel uh, a little like dated in places but the price is it that bad really so if you've not subscribed already, please do so. It would be a massive help. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to see more little videos like this, let me know. Until the next one, guys.